integral of minus pi to pi 2x 1 plus sin x upon 1 plus cos square x dx. In this question, first separate the terms as 2x into 1, 2x upon 1 plus cos square x dx minus pi to pi 2x sin x upon 1 plus cos square x dx. Now let it be i1 and second function as i2. When the function is x upon 1 plus cos square x, change the sign because the limits are minus a to a. Cos of minus x is cos x. So minus x upon 1 plus cos square x. Minus f of x, therefore the function is odd. And for i2, when the function is x sin x upon 1 plus cos square x. Minus x sin of minus x 1 plus cos square x. Because cos of minus theta is cos theta. Sin of minus theta is minus sin. So it becomes x sin x upon 1 plus cos square x. Therefore, the function in this case is even. When the function is odd, integral minus a to a fx dx is 0. And when the function is even, 2 times 0 to a x sin x upon 1 plus cos square x. Integral 1 to minus 1 sin x dx is minus dt upon 1 plus t square. Now integral of 1 upon x square plus a square is 1 upon a tan inverse x upon a. Minus 2 pi tan inverse minus 1 minus tan inverse 1. Tan inverse minus 1 is minus pi by 4 and tan inverse 1 is value of pi by 4. Minus 2 pi minus 2 pi by 4. Pi square. Put this value. In. 
star i1 is 0 and i2 is pi square Now the next one is Next question is integral of modulus of sin x dx and the limit is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 f of x is f of minus x sin of minus theta is minus sin theta but modulus of negative is also positive is equals to f of x therefore the function is even function now for even function limit goes to 2 times 0 to a modulus of sin x dx now we know the graph for sin x for sin x sin 0 is 0 sin pi is 0 maximum value of sin 1 is at pi by 2 Therefore, for 0 to pi by 2, the function is increasing. So, modulus of sin is plus sin x. And integral of sin is minus cos of x, 0 to pi by 2. Cos pi by 2, value of cos 90 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. Now the next one is Integral of minus 1 to 3 by 2 Modulus of x sin pi x dx Now when the value of x is lies between Minus 1 to 3 by 2. Multiply by pi. Then value of pi x lies between minus pi to 3 pi by 2. When x is between 1 to 0. Then pi x is greater than 0. Or if we take sine. Then sine pi x is less than 0. Sine pi x is less than 0 implies x into sine pi x. x is less than 0 and sine pi x is also less than 0. And x sine pi x is 
greater than 0 between minus 1 to 0. When x lies between minus 1 to 0, therefore modulus of x sine pi x is x sine pi x when x lies between minus 1 to 0. Now when the x lies between 0 to 1, multiply by pi, 0 is less than pi x, less than pi implies sine pi x is greater than 0. And when sine pi x is greater than 0, then modulus of x sine pi x is positive in this case. Now when the value of x lies between 1, 2, 3 by 2. When value of x lies between 1, 2, 3 by 2. Function becomes minus 1 to 1 modulus ki value humare paas kya hai? Positive plus when limit lies between 1 to 3 by 2 then function is negative. Take this negative sign outside. Now let it be 1. First we solve the integral x sin pi x. By using it, algebraic as first function and trigonometric function as second. First function as it is, integral of sine is minus cos pi x upon pi minus integral of derivative of x. First function is 1, integral of sine is minus cos pi x upon pi. Minus x cos pi x upon pi. Integral of cos is sine pi x upon pi square. Now we will use this value in the first equation.
When x is 3 by 2, minus when x is 1, square 